Behold, I am with you. Genesis chapter 28 verses 10 to 29, to chapter 30, Hosea chapter 12 verses 12 to 14, and Ephesians chapter 5 verses 5 to 10. Introduction. How does it feel to know God is with you? Last parasha. Isaac discovered that he gave his blessing to his younger son Jacob instead of Esau. When Esau heard it, he bitterly cried and begged his father to bless him too. So he bore a grudge against his brother Jacob because of the blessing which Isaac gives. Because of what happened, Esau planned to kill Jacob as soon as his father died. To escape from his angry brother, Jacob went to Padan, Aram, the place of his uncle Laban. Our parasha starts with Jacob who was in a certain place to spend the night. From there he dreamt. There was a ladder set on the earth with its top reaching to heaven, and Adonai yod -Hey vav -Hey's angels were descending and ascending on it. There was a midrash that says the ladder leads to the temple altar and the angels of Adonai are the high priests. Some rabbis understood the ladder as Mount Sinai. I believe this ladder foreshadows the Messiah Yeshua. In Genesis chapter 22 verse 18, Adonai said to Abraham that, in his seed all the nations of the earth shall be blessed, and this time, Jacob also received the same promise, verse 14. Yeshua is the seed, the ladder and bridge to Adonai to restore the broken relationship between him and mankind because of sin. Now in verses 13 to 15, Adonai promised some important things to Jacob. As we can see, every time Adonai calls someone to serve him, it requires a separation from loved ones. When Adonai called Abraham in Genesis chapter 12, he told him to leave his country, his family, and the house of his father. This time, Jacob must leave his family because of what happened and Adonai allowed it to fit in his plan and he wants Jacob to rely on him. Twice the word, behold, was used here. In verse 13, behold, Adonai stood above the ladder and said to Jacob that he is the Lord God of his father Abraham and Isaac. He mentioned these names because he made a covenant with them, and Jacob will continue to fulfill it. He promised to Jacob that his descendants will be numerous and shall spread to the four corners of the earth and in his seed, that is Yeshua in Galatians chapter 3 verse 16, all the families of this Eretz will be blessed. The second behold is in verse 15. Adonai promised to Jacob that he would be with him and keep him wherever he goes. Since Jacob departed from his family, this promise was very comforting. He will be Jacob's companion and guidance. Hebrews chapter 13 verses 5 b to 6, For he himself has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. The Lord is my helper, I will not fear. What can man do to me? For Jacob, these promises render more encouragement as he becomes a traveler and leaves his comfort zone. When he awakes, Jacob is amazed because he recognized Adonai's presence in the place he claimed as the house of God and gate of heaven. He took the stone that he had put at his head, made a pillar and poured oil on it. After that, he called the place Bethel which means, house of God. Then he told himself that if Adonai will be with him and provide food and clothes, then he shall be his God. What a wonderful transformation of Jacob, a supplanter but now a believer of Adonai yod -Hey vav -Hey. Eventually, his name will be changed from Jacob to Israel which means, may God prevail. In chapter 29, Jacob reached his destination, and we can see five pieces of evidence here that Adonai yod -Hey vav -Hey is with him like what he promised in chapter 28 verse 15. Number 1. Jacob meets shepherds from Haran verses 1 to 4. It would be easy for Jacob to know the place of his destination because of these shepherds from Haran. Surprisingly, they knew Laban the son of Nahor, for he was actually Nahor's grandson. Number 2. Rachel came with the sheep verse 6, what a coincidence. While Jacob was asking the shepherds, they pointed out Rachel, his cousin, and the daughter of his uncle Laban. Because of Jacob's excitement, he kissed Rachel, lifted up his voice and wept tears of joy. Number 3. Laban heard the news about Jacob verses 13 to 14. Upon meeting his nephew, 
Laban shows hospitality by bringing Jacob into his house. He stayed there for a month and Jacob told Laban everything. Laban offered him wages maybe because he knew that Adonai will bless Jacob, so he could be a blessing to him as well. Number 4. Jacob was with Leah in the morning verses 23 to 25. Since Adonai yod -Hey vav -Hey told Jacob that his descendants shall be as the dust of the earth, Genesis chapter 28 verse 14. Leah will be the mother of Levi, priesthood, and Judah, the line of King David and Yeshua ha -Masiach. Number 5. Jacob married Rachel verses 28 to 30. First, it was only seven years of service for Rachel because Jacob loved her. But after he awakes one morning with Leah, Laban told him that it should not be done in their country, to give the younger before the firstborn. Another seven years of service must be completed, and he loved Rachel who became the mother of Benjamin and Joseph, foreshadowing of Messiah Yeshua as the suffering servant. These evidences show us that Adonai yod -Hey vav -Hey is with Jacob, always available to help him and fulfill his promises. In Haftarah, Israel was arrogant because of their status as the chosen people of Adonai. So through prophet Hosea, Adonai reminded them of their beginning. He recalls how Jacob served for a spouse, and how Israel was brought out from the land of Egypt. This should cause them to be humble, and must recognize that only by the grace and power of Adonai yod -Hey vav -Hey they became a great nation. In Apostolic, Paul reminded the believers in Ephesus to walk in love, verses 1 to 7, that fornication, uncleanness, covetousness, and idolatry should not be seen in them. Paul reminds them also not to be deceived by anyone of empty words, kenwa logos in Greek, which means, without the substance of truth or reality. Next, Paul reminds them to walk in light, verses 8 to 10. He mentioned what light produces in the life of a believer. These are goodness, righteousness, truth, and finding out the acceptable things to Adonai yod -Hey vav -Hey. The connection of our parasha is about deception. In Torah, Laban deceived his nephew Jacob by giving Leah instead of Rachel. In Haftarah, Israel was deceived by their status as chosen people of God. They forgot to be humble, and to acknowledge that through the power and grace of Adonai, they became a great nation. In Apostolic, Paul reminded the believers in Ephesus to not be deceived by empty words. Back to my introduction, Adonai yod -Hey vav -Hey promised to Jacob that he will be with him. Yeshua also promised to his disciples that he will be with them always, even to the end of the age Matthew chapter 28 verse 20. Baruch Hashem we have God who is always with us, an ever-present help. Yes he is, and he does. Shabbat Shalom.